Perhaps it's common knowledge that Meghan is accused of causing an employee to shed tears during her Australian tour. Throughout her time as an employer, Meghan's staff have been observed in various states of distress, including crying, feeling shaken, and being undermined. Allegedly, at least one employee received compensation after six months of employment, though Meghan consistently denies these allegations. Her anger stems from not having exclusive access to Admiralty House, leading to arguments with Harry, continuous insults towards employees, and even disparaging comments about the governor's wife at the time. It's worth noting that Meghan appointed Jessica Mulroney as an assistant, even though they were on vacation. Furthermore, Meghan expressed disbelief when she arrived at the Sydney Opera House, implying that she didn't think she would be paid for her duties. She also reacted negatively to a poster for UN Women in the Market. The mistreatment of Melissa Tubati during our trip to Australia became a public issue. For everyone involved, except for the Sussexes, the Australian trip was an absolute nightmare. The Sussexes seemed to believe that they deserve to be the next heirs to the crown, with Meghan appearing to think that accolades, wealth, and attention are owed to her rather than earned. She has grown accustomed to receiving various perks for free, including a yachting lifestyle, free trips from wealthy individuals worldwide, housing, university tuition funded by her father, and more. She anticipated a lavish life and ownership of castles and palaces when she married Harry, but a realization that she needed to work and that there was a hierarchy in the monarchy, especially considering Harry's lack of possessions and a college degree, left her disappointed. Consequently, she began demanding things and raising her voice, seemingly to assert her importance. Prince Harry even acknowledged her cruel treatment of staff, with some employees allegedly crying at their desks, constituting workplace bullying. Heather Wong, a former key staffer, broke her silence after leaving her position. She served as a deputy private secretary to Harry and Meghan Markle while they were still at Kensington Palace. Heather Wong is one of those eligible to participate in Buckingham Palace's investigation into bullying allegations against Meghan. This review was initiated by Buckingham Palace after up to 12 employees came forward with accusations. These staff members claimed they were exhausted and overworked as they had to address negative press surrounding Meghan. The Sussexes allegedly pressured staff to create a public explanation, stating that Meghan wasn't a bully, necessitating significant efforts from the media team to cover up her actions. There are reports indicating that Meghan bullied individuals she considered beneath her during her time in Australia, exhibiting an arrogant attitude. My interest in following her grew after the Manhattan car chase incident, as it became glaringly obvious that she was lying for personal gain. Watching the details unfold, including diva demands, mistreatment of staff, payoffs, and hush money to prevent lawsuits, paints a concerning picture of her behavior.